Hey everybody, this is Ilad and we are back on V for Vanilla. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, so a couple things happening today. First of all, I'm using an all new recording setup. Uh, I sort of have a very, very low end, or modest I suppose, <laughs> a recording studio in my house. That's really, really cool. I'm very excited by that. Um, because of that, there might be the odd little awkwardness like like me not being able to get my mouse exactly where I want it due to some mouse sensitivity issues. But yeah, that'll all work itself out in time and I'm super excited to have a permanent stable place to do some recording. Uh, the other new thing is that uh, behind me you can see the beginnings of a new business that I'm opening here at V for Vanilla. And in today's episode we're going to be building that business and you get to watch how exciting <laughs> yeah so let's get to that all right so to get started uh i'm gonna do a little bit of pixel art right here along this strip right here uh this is for the big sign that lets people know what the business is you notice i'm not telling you yet what the business is gonna be all you need to know is that it's gonna be awesome <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and lay out just kind of the outline. It probably won't take you long to figure out exactly what it is I'm doing, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, so if I'm looking at this correctly, this is blank. This is blank, and here I start the actual outline. It's one, two, three, probably four. Uh-huh, skip one, do one. Looks like two, and that's where that kind of rests for now. And I'm gonna bump this up a little bit. Whoa! Whoops. Let's see. Chop that out. One of the things that's new about my current setup is I've uh, I've got a brand new monitor attached to my laptop. Um, that gives me the freedom to kind of break loose from the laptop and have it sitting over in the corner hopefully to record uh, better audio quality. It's really been getting on my nerves lately that I can't really record without the laptop fan noise being, being uh, kind of intrusive and me needing to filter it out lately or later. Um, can I do two things at once? Can I talk and build at the same time? It remains to be seen. So uh, yeah uh, the new monitor, however, has different color, and I realized after doing a little screen testing that the monitor has the correct color, and what I've actually been seeing all this time has not been what the games have looked like. And so it's really amazing now finally getting to see what I've been missing out on all this time, because it's been quite a bit, actually, that I haven't been able to see. Um, I was looking at some screenshots of Victor Vran that I've been kind of casually playing lately. And there's a big difference. I mean, there's a real big difference. And then I was like, okay, so I wonder what the auction house looks like. You know, I never actually knew what my auction house looked like. <laughs> I mean, I've been seeing it on my mobile screen, which has actually been doing a better job of accurately reproducing the colors than my laptop screen. But, uh... But yeah, like actually getting to see the real appearance of the auction house is kind of a shock. It's a lot brighter than I thought it was. Um, it's out of sight right now, or I'd go go kind of point out some of the things, but yeah, it's all right. Um, but yeah, so I'm really, really excited to have a better screen to be working with. Let's see, and then there's that one. And three more, I think two, three, and then it starts curving back down, which we're not going to worry about right now. Okay, so, ow. Yeah, that kind of floated. Didn't float enough. <laughs> Let's see, yeah, it looks about right. Looks pretty decent. It's a good start. Let me grab this before it despawns. Um, but in any case, it's it's gonna really make my life a lot easier. Just the fact that I have a stable place set up to do recording, it's gonna make it nice to do a little bit less audio filtering. I think. 
I'm um, hoping there's not any kind of echo in this room. There might be. If so, just bear with me. I'll figure that out and get it filtered out. Or not filtered electronically, but hopefully filtered physically by, uh, by putting up stuff on the walls to reduce the echo. So hopefully I'm going to up my YouTube game a little bit as a result of having this little studio space. Okay, that cuts in. I can't actually jump up that high because hello. Right, so uh, one of the ideas with this build though is I want it to actually fit inside a chunk. So at max it's going to be 16 by 16. In fact, I'm going one step farther than that and making it a cubic chunk. At least that's the idea. Uh, it probably won't come out perfectly to a cubic chunk, but I don't want it to go any higher than 16 off the ground. The floor itself, I imagine, is probably actually going to take up the 17th layer, but I'm not going to count that. It'll be alright. There we go. It's a fish. It's a fish. Guess what I'm selling? That's right, I'm opening a restaurant. Oh yeah. <laughs> Very cool, huh? And I'll, I'll tell you where I got the inspiration if you not if you don't immediately recognize it. Uh the fish, of course, is a sprite from Mario. Uh it's a bl uh, blooper fish. I can't remember what they're called, it's something like that. Uh but the place where I got the idea is actually right there. I believe that's a Zelda chicken sprite, if I remember correctly. And uh, it's the Doza's family fried chicken. So I'm making a fried fish restaurant down here. I, I was tempted to call it the Doza family fish fry, or the Doza family seafood, something along those lines. Uh, as it stands, I don't think I actually want to do that. I don't want to infringe on their copyright. <laughs> trademark whatever so uh, so yeah I'm actually open to suggestions for what to call it um, go ahead and be thinking of those and put them down in the comments to the video if you come up with one uh, but for right now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the sign okay well there he is yeah all right uh, right here on the source image I'm using for reference, the actual sprite has a third shade of green right in this region right here. Of course, uh, with stained clay, I only have lime and green, so I just kind of pixelated a little blend in between there. I feel like it works all right. It gives him a little bit of a fish scale texture, actually, if you ask me. Um, so there's that, and... Yeah, let me just uh, take some of these torches off. And our fish is going to be swimming. Well, or something. <laughs> Alright, so it's not just the sign, though, that's going to give this place its unique charm and appeal. So it's going to have plenty of that. Uh, there's something a little different going into this. Um... A little, a little something special that I had planned. So let me let me go ahead and get the interior going, uh, and I'll I'll kind of try to show you what's going to make this place really stand out and be a unique build. Build. Um, and by interior, of course, I mean exterior walls. Y'all are psychic and knew exactly what I meant. Um, doop doop, ba doop ba doop. Okay, so. One thing is I wanted it to kind of have a fishing shack look, but I also wanted it to have a fast food look. So instead of building the outside out of spruce logs and planks, the way I normally would, I figured, you know, what would be really cool is if I used fake spruce. So I got this brown stained hardened clay. Okay, there we are. That's the framework. That's enough. I'm done. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm? Cool. Yeah, how's that? Yeah, it's a little better. You can see that the orange and the green kind of pick up some of the colors of the fish, and the white, of course, does. Uh, there's not really going to be any windows, and I, I kind of wanted windows, but this is really 
and maybe this are really the only places for them. Uh, so no. Uh, there's going to be a ceiling, of course. You're not going to see the fish peeking out or peeking in. Um, okay, so there's that. Uh, now, as I said earlier, if I didn't trim it out of the recording, uh, there's a special thing. It's going to make this. Uh, it's going to make this build kind of different, kind of unique. And it's probably about time I worked on it. And so let me grab what I need for it and I will be right back. Oh, I've got what I needed and that is a bucket of water. That's right. <laughs> All right, so um, apparently there was already a hole down here, but that's okay, it's not a problem. So I'm gonna plop a bucket of water right there. Let me grab another one. I could have gotten two buckets, but oh well. Yep, cool. Uh, the table's going to come out like boom. Yep. And there's going to be some more water right here. At this point, you're thinking, what is he doing? Why, oh, why does he have water where the seating, seating should be? Well, my friends, you're about to find out. I'm going to come right here. I'm going to grab a about four boats, if I had the room for them anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm going to plop those boats in the water. Okay, can I do this? Or is this a terrible idea? Actually, you know what? Boom, boom, and boom, boom. Hmm, this might have been a terrible idea to do it this way. Hey, 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 whoa. Okay, so the boats push each other, do they? Good to know, good to know. Um, this is going to be an adventure, because with the new boat mechanics especially, I don't know. Hmm. try this. Oh, whoops. <laughs> get out, get out, get out, get out. Move. Jeez. Please. <laughs> Somebody just kill me. Okay. Um. Right. Yeah. Push that way over there. Okay, that puts the water all on one side. Pop that right there. You're pushing the boat way over to the corner, right? Please. And that means if I lay down slabs there. Well, okay. So that didn't work perfectly. Let me see if there's a better way to do this. What if I drop the boat on top of a torch? Can I do that? I cannot. Hmm. Anyway, here's the idea. You're sitting in a boat instead of in the usual Minecraft seat, which is a minecart. Because, get it? It's a seafood place. Right? Right? Right. I really wanted the boats to be lower. So that might take a little doing. Let me, let me experiment a little bit and I'll get back to you. Okay, well, let's see if this works. Boom. No, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, well, it'd probably help if I reloaded them. Um, not quite, but almost. I can see where it's gonna work. That's important. Being able to see that something is gonna end up the way you want it is a big step in the right direction. Alright, so if I do this right here where the boats can't really get out. Oops, and I load these up. Uh, well, the boat's in the wall. That's definitely unintentional. 
Okay, here we are. Uh, I got a piston. Maybe this will work. Uh, let's see. Do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Boom. Boom. Okay, very cool. This is what I am going to settle on. <laughs> a little boat shaped seat for you. Um, I wanted two on each side. You wouldn't have been able to see that they were boats anyway, at least not as much. So I'm happy. This is good. Uh, I've just got to keep on working on making this happen. Do doop. Do doop. Yeah, and then boom, just like that. Oh, yep. I love that I can do that now, by the way, even though it pops as soon as I uh, update it. Whoops. It's really nice to be able to um, to place pistons or uh, sorry levers directly on pistons. It's one of the really cool things that happened in 1.9. Man, how cool is this though? Like this is your this is your seat in a seafood restaurant. We've got boat-shaped seats, folks. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm not going to put this on camera, but I'm going to go all the way around, probably to right here. It's going to be a little kitchen in here. The kitchen itself is not going to be all that extraordinary. Um, there's going to be a tiny little auto cooker not much just like a hopper furnace hopper chest um, I'm gonna accept donations just like the uh, the Dodoza family fried chicken does I uh, I would like for the chef let's see where's my I would like for the chef to actually be a zombie villager but that is gonna involve a bigger um, let's say a bigger use of time than what I'm willing to actually put into it or what I have to put into it because, you know, you got a three-month-old girl, right? Ooh, that's not how I want this. Um, so I'm, if I'm going to get a zombie villager in here, it's going to have to be uh, by paying somebody else on the server to move him in for me. So we'll see. Maybe maybe somebody will take me up on that. Maybe somebody will be interested. I don't know. I kind of like this. See this, some of this stuff kind of gives it like a little bit of a, you know, a theme restaurant styling. But it kind of looks cheap with the, the smooth textures and the sort of crappy paneling look. I don't know. I kind of like it kind of think it works for fast food. I'm trying to think how I want to arrange these. I think this is going to work all right. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. Um, so anyhow, I'm going to actually leave it there uh, for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope to see you again in the future. Uh, hopefully next episode I'll be showing off the completed restaurant. I need a title for it, need a name. If you have any suggestions for what to call my restaurant, please post them down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. Uh, any feedback is welcome. And thank you very much. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.